Okay, so welcome back to Shiny Tree Trash. This is the review of the Vallejo Collections, the shifters across three box sets, Space Dust, Magic Dust and Galaxy Dust, which were uh, purchased from Home Firth Gaming Centre and we've got a link below. Before I get into uh, the nitty gritty of the review and what we've been doing over the uh, previous six videos, I'd just like to remind you to uh, follow me if you can, if you'd like to, on Facebook, on Twitter and Instagram. And um, if you like the video, please like it, please share and subscribe and uh, ding that bell if you want to um, be notified when we release new videos. And uh, my intention is to take these further into a personal project. So um, if you do ding that bell, you will get to know all uh, that I'm going to be doing. Exciting creativity lies ahead. Okay, so um, I'd like to start off with my review of these colours by saying, do not use cartridge paper. Do not use a white ground. Do not use a brush. Um, didn't really work and as much as they are lovely and shimmery um, nothing wrong with them as paints not really doing as it says on the packaging which is airbrush metallics acrylics color shift depending on the light or angle that's not happening with a paintbrush on cartridge ground. Um, it says on the back, I'm just gonna do, do a, a few quotations, that these multichromic pigments um, give a vibrant metallic sparkle while their glass-like coating acts like a refra refracting prism. Each flake presents a variety of colors depending on the angle of view and indecent light. The colour shift is observable while both high and low gloss applications. So that's going to lead me into uh, what we've done further to that initial testing. I thought in all my wisdom that, okay, it didn't work on white. We'll try black paper. So here I've got um, some light weight black card and these are two collections. This is a Space Dust and this is Magic Dust here. I'm just gonna put those colors to the side. And yeah, improvement on the white cartridge, absolutely. I'm just going to rotate this a little bit under the lighting conditions. I think you may see ever so slight color changes, but not spectacularly so. But what I would say is that they are beautifully shimmery, they are wonderfully sparkly and metallic, and they've got a really lovely feathery powdery um, finish. And that's nice, they are, they're pretty. And in fairness, there is a slight color change. I think looking there across both camera views, um, these are the same colors, believe it or not, We've got this heavily coppery colour where my finger is in the camera view under my chin, whereas when you see the overcam, we're seeing that green. So you can see it. It is happening. The magic is beginning to happen. But where the real magic happens is when I followed the recommended manufacturer's um, instructions, which were... I'm going to quote, um, best results are obtained over a gloss black base colour. And um, it also says that the um, variety of lighting conditions is intensified if the colours are applied on a curved surface. So I followed that and I um, looked at these colours through an airbrush on a curved surface, which are these simple pots that we had knocking around the house. We used a surface primer. Oop. Surface primer and on one of the pots in for each collection, we 
just use the matte surface black ground and then on the other part we applied a gloss varnish to just compare okay so I'm just going to bring into view the collections so this is space dust I'm just going to simply rock them and rotate the jars uh, if you're interested in more detail about which colors are what um, please look at my other videos because I don't want to go into too much detail about that I just want this simply to be an overview I lipped the colors over onto the base as well because I think you can appreciate maybe the intense difference when you see them from different views and angles I think sometimes when you see it at the base you can see that intense color so I'm just going to rotate through these so that one there is my favorite one um, I would say across all three collections this one's my absolute favorite that was electric blue intense violet I really love that one and I'm already racing in my mind about how I'm going to apply that and how I'm going to take this forward into some um, studies and projects based on insects and beetles okay moving on magic dust I'm going to do the same thing this collection was a nice collection I also especially quite liked that one there which was the um, gold yellow burnt orange so you can see there really intense coppery color under my chin and when I tilt it this way we're seeing uh, a yellowy green uh, so that's nice so that's my second favorite color overall um, across all three collections I quite like this one as well get a really lovely a bit harder to capture but that sort of oceanic blue and then we get that really lovely evergreen with gold tinges that's nice pretty so that was the magic dust so quite a nice variety of play across spectrums there liking that and the final collection was galaxy dust so let's have a look at these fellas yeah that's happening that's magic oh nice that's nice I think I've got a thing for blues and greens well I definitely got a thing for greens I'm not gonna deny that okay so it's nice some of them there and it might be me um, maybe I've not applied um, multiple coats enough but some of them are looking a little bit of a muchness of a muchness so if I was to pick um, my top three colors they would be from the space dust and the magic dust collection um, my favorite was overall that beauty the electric blue intense violet from space dust closely followed from magic dust which was the orange gold one there that we're seeing those were my absolute two favorites what i would like to say in my overview as well is that the labels on the bottles have quite a true have i'm not saying quite they do have a true representation of what i'm seeing when i followed the manufacturer's uh, rec recommendations for application i'm seeing that color on the label on my pot so that's a really good thing to note um, because initially when i did it on the paper i didn't see that and i think also the color that you see in the bottle this one being transparent -y, clear white um, is misleading as well so i think i know from my experimentations that the label is a true representation of what you're going to get um, if you follow the recommended application my top um, four tips are the following use a black primer something similar to this um, or make sure you've got a black ground whether or not it's black paper if you're going on an artistic 
paper um, but do have a black ground use a primer black works white doesn't um, secondly try and apply these paints over a curved ground um, it just works it lends itself perfectly to how these paints work which is to reflect the light and if you've got that curved surface it's allowing the light to bounce off those prisms within the paint and refract and produce that different um, magic of spectrums of colours it creates that chameleon effect which is the real quality of what this collection is all about so do that so black ground curved surface second is the way that you apply those paints um, we use a badger airbrush um, using the airbrush helps it allows you to apply the paint in thin uh, hopefully controlled way over that surface um, and it just allows that build up of really thin layers which um, is my third point my final point is about the gloss now I did apply a gloss to one of the pots for each of the collections I personally didn't see a benefit to that but I think the principle behind it which is why I'm putting it in my top four tip is to use it because I'd like to take that further maybe I didn't apply enough of it is that it, it just enhances that reflection and again then that will only intensify that pigment change that chameleon effect which is a real magic about this collection so yep massive thumbs up love 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 adore to the point that I could just like dive bomb into these maybe I should spray more of it so I can just dream away inside it it's wonderful perfect lovely fantastic love them love them and I just want to take it further into my next project if you've got any questions any proposals what you want me to do to maybe investigate them further I can do that if you comment and let me know um, sneak preview of what I'm intending on doing is I'm going to take these colors looking at um, applying them over different colors of paper I want to manipulate a form to create um, a beetle form just done some quick sketches some studies here of some beetles and I'm going to uh, experiment with this and take them into um, into color palettes and explore them in three-dimensional forms all this thing's going around in my head so sorry it's like spaghetti just blurbing out of my mouth because I'm that excited I just want to get moving with this so uh, please check me out like and subscribe and then um, follow this new adventure with the Beatles and these magic paint shifting chameleon magic pots of colour. Okay, thank you ever so much. Bye bye.